So here I have a Canon R5C. This is what happens when you turn it on on the stock battery when it's set to 8K60 RAW. There's gotta be a way to deal with that, and most certainly there is. Most people will recommend that you get a PD-capable power bank and use a USB-C cable. The problem with that is if you wanna do this remotely correctly, you're probably gonna be using the clamp so that way your cable doesn't get dinged the wrong way. The problem with this is with the way that it sits on the side of the camera, if you wanna flip the screen around while it's completely out, tough tits, Timothy. If you wanna use the screen at a weird kind of angle while it's out like this, tough tits, Timothy. There's gotta be a better way. And certainly there is. A lot of people on places like forums and Amazon and stuff like that will say that it's gonna be very difficult to find a power supply that can deliver the right voltage and then they don't, you know, mention what the right voltage is. So I got this right here, it's from Antoine Bauer. It goes off P-tap or D-tap, it's the same thing. And it spits out to this connector for Canon C100, C100 Mark II, C300, and C500. So we got this, we've got DRE6C battery coupler. You'll see places like six letter Chinese sellers on Amazon or even Alvin's Cable, stuff like that. And they'll say that they have this thing that's a dummy battery that goes off D-tap and it's compatible with the R5C. But then if you read the fine print, it says that it doesn't support 8K raw recording. This one here does, but you have to supply it with nine volts. This thing supplies nine volts. So I think you can kind of see where this is going. Oh yeah, one more thing that you're gonna need. If we can get that on there correctly. Good enough. A battery with a DTAP port. So now let's hook it up and see what happens. Now, cable management's a little bit of a problem, but that's a problem for future me. So now, no lens error. And she's in raw. So, uh, yeah. Despite what a lot of the Amazon sellers will tell you, it's pretty easy to put together a power supply that will power this camera on a dummy battery in 8K RAW. The only problem is that uh, it's expensive as shit. Uh, the DRE6C is around about 160 bucks. The Anton Bauer adapter is about 115 bucks. And really, this is not the best way to mount the battery on the camera. It works, but it throws the balance off. So if you set the camera down on anything soft, it'll tend to pull this way. I have a Tilta thing shipping in, but that's not going to be here till Monday. Although that one might have its own problems because the lens is kind of makes it a little bit front heavy. Although who knows, maybe the battery will counteract that. We'll see in the future.